Y'all, this is gonna be a pretty a straightforward video. I'm literally be chilling like this because, as I mentioned earlier, this video, I literally was like, I'm gonna call this video, I'm tired. Because I'm tired. <laughs> um, I got like sick, like, when did I get sick? I got sick like about a week ago at this point. It's been about a week. And yeah, I've been sick, had like the flu symptoms, something like the flu, whatever. It doesn't, it matters. I was gonna say it doesn't matter, but I'm saying that to say like, I've just been so tired and I got sick during finals week. I usually get sick during finals week and I think it's because of like the stress and the fact that I know like it's getting real. So I get sick. This has not happened like every time around this time. It might just be the weather too or a combination of all the things, but I'm saying that to say, like, I'm tired, and being sick made me realize, like, I'm tired. Like, I got sick, finals, I would literally just do what I had to do, then lay on the couch, lay on the bed for, like, the whole day, and I would just be tired. Like, I don't have it, I didn't have the energy to, like, just do things, like, cook or whatever, whatever. I'm just tired. Not only, you know, I'm also, I'm gonna hold the camera like this because I can, and I like it better like this. I feel like we're more, we're more up close and personal, but... Yeah, like, I'm tired of just having to constantly feel like I'm just chasing this unattainable goal, bro. Like, I just want to live and be happy and, like, you know? And sometimes I feel like, I don't even know, bro. It's just weird. Like, I'll be doing, I don't even know what what is doing the right thing. Like, I feel like it's just a lot bro like i i say i'm saying i'm tired in the sense that like i'm tired of i think i've been consuming a lot of media right like say i'm on youtube and i just want to watch video or something i'm also going to end up seeing other posts and things that i didn't ask to see it's just social media you can't just only see one video you know you can but like it's hard to not see something else you know so it's like trying to it's like going to a buffet and only looking for the one item you're gonna see everything else that's there because you you chose to go to a buffet like yeah you can go get that one eight one item but you came to a buffet there's so many options and i think it gets really challenging when i maybe listen to advice or some type of life talk or you know how youtube is videos um posts quotes those those quotes were so inspirational and stuff and it is when i read it right some things resonate and i really feel them and i really you know it makes me um do better or walk in the right direction i guess you could say but then sometimes i feel like it just confuses me because i may see a post right where it's like okay be healthy you know make sure to take care of yourself and then I see something somewhere else where it's like just contradictory statements or something that actually I have an example of that came up today was somebody or I saw a post that was like, um, there's more millionaires in America than people that have abs. So and it was like people are so metabolically, metabolically unhealthy. Um, and that made me go into a spiral low key. I was like, damn, I gotta get some abs. And it's like, I have abs, but like, I don't have to have them be popping the fuck out like I'm a, some Instagram. You feel me? Like, I'm not an Instagram Chad that has to have my abs popping 24 seven. Like, I'm just a regular dude that likes to work out. I like, you know, I like being how I am. Um, I don't wanna have to hyper fixate about what I'm eating because the goal is to have abs. Like. I don't want to have to like live by that narrative now you know what i'm saying like i think it's great if you want abs and you go get abs but it's like we all have abdominal muscles and i don't think that's the number one priority in life is to have visible freaking abs like if that's your goal personally or if that's just how you were built some people are just built with abs that pop or like you know they have lower body fat percentages whatever i've been a five year old with a freaking chubby stomach 
my entire life. I remember being five years old. I just had a little pouch, not even a pouch, but just like, like my stomach just, it's always been squishy and it's honestly not as squishy as it used to be now because I'm on testosterone and I've been working out for a long time. But my point is like, that's, it's so superficial. Like if I have abs, great. If I don't, like, I don't want to have to be like, fuck, my abs are gone. Let me go chase abs. Like it just doesn't feel good, bro. Like fuck, like life is so short and there's so many things that bring us joy. It's like, we don't have to, the, you having abs and being a gym rat is not, is not the only thing that can bring you success in this life. Like I've been on that and I'm like tired <laughs> of it, bro. I'm tired of being a gym rat, like constantly being like, gotta go to the gym, gotta go to the gym. I love the gym, but I mean it in like the mindset way of like, that's all I am is my body is my physical appearance like oh like, and I, I say that because like I'll do things throughout the day I'm an active guy I look good I'll feel good but then something in the back of my head is like you didn't go to the gym you ain't doing enough you ain't doing enough like it's a voice inside of my head and I don't I don't know when I'm going to not hear that voice and even when I'm in the gym doing all this like I still feel like I'm not enough. I, when I'm actually going to the gym and all this, I still look at my body and I'm like, oh, but we could be, we could be, um, we could be slimmer. We could be, we could be more muscular. We could be this, we could be that. So is it even me going to the gym and me not going to the gym? I feel like it's a deeper inner battle with myself of like how I view myself and what do I think I have to do to value myself and be valued. Like I love, I love how I look, but sometimes I'm so critical I'll look at my face and be like, oh, uh, you have to go do cardio. Your face is getting fat. Like, it's perfectly fine to be real with yourself. But I am I think that's a problem when I look like this. You feel me? Like, I don't know if you've, you've seen other videos of me, how I look my body. When I look like that and I can't just sit and appreciate how far I've came and appreciate how I look. It's always like I'm chasing something more, which is great. But damn, what, when... It gets tiring chasing something more when I have already done so much. Like, and I'm not saying this to say that I'm not going to do anything to level up. It's not even that. I think there's just a lack of me appreciating where I'm at. You know, it's like it, I never feel like I've done enough because I'm constantly looking for the next thing. Oh, you know, you gained all this muscle. You look good. You're strong, blah, blah, blah. But you need abs. But you need to be this. But you need to lose fat here. But you need to, like, I'm just tired. And I'm, I'm making this video because maybe other people are also experiencing this. Like, it's it, it burns you out when you're constantly trying to get something that's not even attainable, really. Like, or sustainable or healthy. Like, it doesn't feel good to hyperfixate on these little things, you know? And it's not even just me getting abs. I literally remember when I would be like trying to um, bulk up. So I would be like eating and eating and eating. And this is like, obviously, I used to be really skinny before. Um, like really skinny before. Um, if you watch my transition video that I recently just posted, I think it's my five years on testosterone video. I posted a picture on there and I was like very skinny. So I would, at that stage, I think it was healthy for me to eat, like to bulk up. But then I just kept doing it and I felt like I needed to keep bulking to reach this standard that wasn't for me. And the standard that I set was really from watching a lot of bodybuilders that weren't natural, comparing myself to them, being like, why are my arms not gigantic? But I, like, it's just so much from social media really is where I'm getting all of these ideals because... I don't, there's no one in my real life that I'm like comparing myself to and being like, damn, you know, there may be once in a blue moon where I see somebody and I'm like, hmm, their physique is very impressive. But in my normal life, I'm, I'm the dude people want to look like. <laughs> you feel me? I feel like social media is such a condensed net of people and everyone only posts the perfect side of them. Like no one sees the real. So we compare ourselves to this perfect 2% of people, but in real daily life, bro, you're doing fine. 
in all other aspects, you're doing fine. And I'm saying this to me, bro. Like, I'm the dude people see and they're like, damn, you work out. Oh, you fit, son. Like, I get compliments all day. And I still feel like I'm not doing enough. That's a problem. I get complimented and I'm like, thanks. Like, it's like I can't accept it because I don't see the greatness. Like, I see it, but I don't really see it. Because if I saw it, I wouldn't be so hell-bent on trying to have abs and be this big dude and be this and look like this and have this and have that. I look amazing as it is. And that honestly had so much power saying that because I felt that. Like, I look amazing as is. I've done so much for my body. I'm crying because I, I fucking felt that. I've done so much for myself. Five years ago, I was also perfect. But like, I've really dialed in on myself and I deserve to credit myself for that. And I think I also deserve rest and I deserve to treat myself in the ways I want to. And what do I mean by treat myself? I literally mean like today I was out, I went to go buy a new trash can and just do adult stuff. I bought paper towels, bought stuff for my bunny and my dog. And I was, um, and I came from a doctor's appointment earlier today too, cause my back had been messed up. I think I messed it up. I did mess it up like three years ago. My muscle, I messed up a muscle in my back um, rhomboid area. Got that checked out today at the doctors. They did like a shot in there, like a trigger shot to relax the muscle. So I had all that going on. I cooked two meals today. I was with my girlfriend. We was doing stuff. I was acting with her. If you know, you know, you know, we were doing stuff. And I still felt like I had to do more. And I was in the car after going to Home Depot like I said, to buy paper towels and all this stuff. And I was like, it was like nine o'clock at that point. And I told myself I was gonna go to the gym, you know, like, come on, bro, you gotta go to the gym. And I was sitting in my car and I did not wanna go to the gym. Like, I just didn't wanna have to put myself through the workout. Like, not because I don't think workouts are like cool, but it's because I don't, like, it's like, I don't have to punish myself, you know? I like going to the gym when I wanna go and I'm happy about it, but it shouldn't be like, Oh, you gotta go to the gym, bro. And I, yeah, I, I just brought that up because, like, I do that shit a lot. Like, sometimes I will just put myself in certain situations on, like, some punishment shit. But, like, I don't like that. <laughs> so I shouldn't have to do it. And today, I literally was like, I don't want to go to the gym. Like, I want to go home. I want to unbox my trash can. And I want to rest. Like, that's what felt good. And I was having, like, a battle with myself. I was like, should I go to the gym? Should I not? And I took my ass home. And, like, that's powerful. The fact that I'm here and making this video now, like, I didn't go to the gym. And I'm sitting on a couch relaxing. Like, I deserve that. But, yeah, y'all, this is, like, a journey also because I never want to... Be lazy and I think that also me saying that shows that I'm not lazy because I have a fear of being lazy I don't think that somebody that is lazy would ask am I being lazy they might I don't know but for me when I'm like damn I ain't doing I'll tell myself like you ain't doing nothing you ain't doing nothing today like you're lazy it's like why am I hating on myself Am I lazy or do I just need rest? You know? Am I lazy or am I self-caring? Like, a lot of times, too, I'll think that self-care is just the gym. And eating um, my, my the certain type of meal or this or that or, or this or whatever. This made-up self-care that I just thought was what self-care is. But self-care could also be laying on the couch and doing absolutely nothing for a couple hours. Self-care can be getting food from outside 
buying takeout and not cooking because I don't feel like cooking. And if I don't want to cook, I don't have to cook. I'm not going to die from eating food someone else made. And a lot of times too, I'll be balanced about it. Like I ordered Chinese food out and my mom loved pickup sticks. So I got pickup sticks from my mom and me. And then I was like, well, we have a lot of zucchini and squash. So I bought pickup sticks, came home. And then I sauteed some fresh vegetables to eat with the pickup sticks. So I was like, okay, I have, I bought takeout, but I'm also eating it like a big portion of veggies with it. So it felt good. Or the other day I was sick as hell also. My mom, she went out for us and I tried this wing spot by Albertsons with my mom. And I was like, oh, when you're at the store at Albertsons, can you grab a box of salad too? So we can eat it with the wings. So we had wings, tenders, and a salad. So I think that it's about the balance, you know? Like even about the gym stuff, like I didn't go to the gym but I went home, I'm, I, I'm in my room doing active stuff. I do push-ups all day. I like, I'm active, I'm moving. You feel me? Like I did a, a little workout in my room because my left side's weaker than my right side. That's what happened at the doctor, they told me. Like a lot of the pain and tension is coming from the fact that my back is just not strong. So on my left side. So I was doing a lot of rehabilitation work on my left side, trying to get it as strong as my right, stuff like that. So it's like, you know, it's not like I'm not doing anything, you know. So I, I, I be, I be acting to myself like I don't do anything. I'm like, okay, if I was in bed all day, <laughs> and I literally was eating pizza all day, and no water, like I was eating like actual, just very not like I care about myself, and I didn't get up all day then maybe I can be mad at myself for going to the gym. And even then, being mad at myself is like, you know, but I'm saying like, if that were the case, or if I had been eating takeout for a week straight and I didn't cook any meals, then I can be mad at myself for getting takeout for the seventh time that week, you know? But like, I'm so hard on myself when there's no need to be. Like, I'm so far away from being what I fear of being like, I'm not that, like, I'm not lazy, I'm not unathletic, I'm not any of that. And honestly, bro, I'm just tired. And I hope you all understand where I'm coming from. And you stop holding yourself to this unrealistic standard of what you think you should be like. Social media, YouTube, oh shit. My bad. <laughs> But I'm put my, my camera down a little bit. I'm gonna spark up. I'm gonna take a hit out of this, man. But I don't even smoke like that. I haven't been smoking, man. And I was sick. And I didn't I didn't like how it made me feel. So maybe right now I feel better. But I wanted to say that. Basically, uh, I kind of lost what I was gonna say. But I'm gonna just tell y'all this. Like, just be yourself, bro. There's so much information out there to take in. So many people telling you, do this, don't do that. Do this, don't do that. If you do this, you're that. And it's like, I care about myself and I can't be listening to everybody. Like, when am I gonna listen to myself? You know? People telling you, like, bro, it's stuff like people saying, I think that you should only eat plants and, you know, don't eat meat. Okay, that works for you. But don't be telling everybody else to not, to not do something. Do you know what I'm saying? I guess, I guess everyone can tell everyone what to do, though, I guess. You know, if you're on YouTube and you want to say, hey, you should be plant-based, I guess you could do that. You know, because maybe that's just what you're here to do. And maybe you'll reach the other people that are supposed to be like that. But like I'm saying that to say like, I would watch YouTubers that are vegan. And I thought that vegan was the best thing. And I tried it. And it's like, I don't have to be vegan. You know what I mean? Like to be valid. And then for a while, I felt like the fact that I ate meat, I felt like I was just a failure. And something was wrong with me. You know, like I, I 